obviously, it is no secret that Kamala has been struggling with male voters, as we have discussed like five times in the last couple of weeks because it has been a hot topic on social media, but her tactics are clearly failing. And again, I seriously do not think that Kamala has a run-of-the-mill straight man on her team because everything that they are doing for these men is just so terrible and completely misses the mark. Like, first, the creatives for Kamala Group made that terrible masculinity ad with a bunch of failed gay actors and Antifa protesters trying to act straight, and then that didn't go well, so then she sent Obama out there to talk to the brothers, saying that they were sexist for not wanting to vote for her, and then she really focused on black men and was like, I'll give you loans and I'll legalize weed for you if you please vote for me. That's still did not work. So now, now she has resorted to sex, which honestly is kind of her favorite tactic if you know her history. Ah, before we dive into that story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the comment section channel if you've not already, and of course, ring that notification bell so you never miss a single episode. Now, funnily enough, people were already talking about sex and politics on social media this week, specifically in regards to men. Like how the way that you vote will impact your chances of getting laid. A Bloomberg columnist posted this graph and he said, young men should know that if you vote for Trump, you're basically never gonna get laid. And then the headline reads, share of young people who said that their view of a date would change based on how they voted. And obviously, truly an astute, astute point. I am so glad that we have fallen to these tactics. Because as I said last week, it seems like the only thing that these people know about normal men are the stereotypes that they have been shaming you for, like sports and masculinity and bro stuff and sex. Like they've been saying that all of that is toxic and wrong for 10 years at this point. Like they have screeched at you to stop sex women to unlearn your masculinity. And now because they're desperate, they're calling on all of that because it is genuinely all they know about you. All they know is the parody that they have created in their mind. Now, unsurprisingly, the men on X did not seem to care about this at all, which was such a white pill. One guy said, oh no, I won't be able to date obese, blue-haired, they thems with mental illness. How will I ever make it? Somebody else said, all the hot girls were Republican. That's true, we have an entire episode about that. We can link it below. Another guy said, some young men are more interested in finding a good wife and future mother than in getting laid. These are all very base gentlemen, and I promise we will find you all wives. If it kills me, I'll make it my mission to get you all married. I don't know where it'll happen, but it'll happen. We can go both. Bowling, we can go to the dog park, meet some ladies. While we're at the dog park, obviously we have to tell people about Rough Greens, clearly. And we'll tell all of the single ladies that Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day, which are things that they're probably not getting from their conventional dried kibble. And what I love about Rough Greens is that you don't have to go out and buy some new expensive dog food. You don't have to go through the trial and error of figuring out what new brand will work for your dog. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every single day and you'll be taking a huge leap for your dog's health. Dog owners everywhere rave about Rough Greens because it's so convenient, it supports healthy joints, it improves bad breath, it boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dogs. I've said this before, but the best thing that Rough Greens did for my dogs was helping their allergies because they had the most sensitive skin when they moved to Tennessee. I mean, it was literally like nonstop gnawing on their paws, and that all went away when they started eating Rough Greens. And obviously, we all know that we are what we eat. That goes for your dogs too, and it goes for your cats, which is why. Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, has now created Meow Greens, which you can also try out with one of their free Jumpstart trial bags. And for both Meow Greens and Rough Greens, one of those free Jumpstart trial bags can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG to try it out. Again, that is roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG today. And the thing is with these cat ladies, like obviously the self-righteous feminist women will obviously answer this way on a poll. They don't always act this way in real life. And even if they don't want to date a Republican, women still want more traditional men. And I know that that is a contradiction, but feminist women have issues. They're hypocritical. We're working on it, I promise. But take a look at these headlines. Like, liberal woman complains that it's hard to find masculine men who aren't conservative. Wow, shocker. Women like masculine men. Here's another one. Why progressive women want to date men who act like conservatives? Why do non-traditional women still expect traditional men? And obviously, that is a story in and of itself. We don't need to get into that today, that entire gender divide. But for the sake of this episode, let's just go along with it. And you know, if you don't believe the headlines, just listen to this girl straight from the DNC. Who are the cuties in the Democratic Party that are speaking? Oh, I don't know. Talk to anyone who lives in D.C. It's hard to find a cute Democrat. <laughs> um, oh my God, shots fired. No, that, that guy's a troll. He's pretending to be gay so that these Democrat women will talk to him. Just FYI, if you didn't know. <laughs> the Republican guys are hotter? Yeah, but they're evil. So like, I don't know. I don't know. We kind of love evil. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're so hot, but we hate them. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that those women are going out and openly dating and falling in love with conservatives, but if we're just talking about getting laid, which was the point of that survey and what that Bloomberg columnist was saying, then yeah, I think it's fine. 
considering the Democrat women find conservative men attractive. But anyway, I've gotten off track. The point was that Kamala decided to lean into this tension and this growing divide between the sexes, and her team produced a couple of ads for Meta that once again just shame men for not voting correctly. Just watch. It's a really nice place. Have you been here before? Yeah, it's one of my favorite spots. I bring everybody here. I said not I go on a lot of dates, but... Paid for by Harris for president. I mean, like, we have resorted to sex at this point. Like, you can smell the desperation from a mile away. Somebody commented and said, this is the equivalent of Biden's you ain't black comment. This suggests that if you don't vote for Kamala, then you're not getting laid, that you're not worthy of love, that you will be alone. It is a tactic pushing fear. It is manipulative and it is very on brand for the Dems. Yeah, very spot on. And this was not the only ad that they released with Meta. Here's another one. This one was very prominent on Snapchat over the weekend. Hello, ladies. I'm Trey. It's good to be here. Hey, Trey. Hey, hey. So, what do you do and how much do you make? I work in finance, making six figures. How tall are you? Six five. Okay. Do you work out? I like to stay active, yeah. Do you have a plan to vote? Uh, I didn't plan on it. Don't get popped. And if you didn't know, that is a spoof on, I think it's a Jubilee type video where it's like the balloon and you pop it if you're not attracted to the guy. So basically they're saying that if you don't vote or you don't vote for her, you're not attractive. No women will like you. The balloon will get popped. And of course there were comments all over social media going, oh my gosh, this is so cringe. Again, it is so desperate. But because we are living in two different Americas, the women who were seeing these ads organically because they were pushing them more towards women, which was very, very odd, they were loving it. Like they were saying, oh wow, it's so relatable. OMG, yeah, I can't date a man who does not want me to have rights. Like, okay, Bethany, have fun with your white dudes for Harris husband that has a boyfriend, as Trump said. But the point is, there are men out there who care about more things than just getting laid. And Kamala should know that. She should know that they care about not being sent off to fight in one of her wars, that they care about being able to have a home one day, that they care about not being shamed and mocked for their biology by pandering politicians and activists who literally think that they are scum. And while sex often sells, I think that for a lot of men, you are just too far gone. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of the comment section and maybe even learned something new. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you want some hopefully more uplifting content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time. Growing up in the 90s, I never thought much about race. What's happening in this country, it's Nazism. Republicans are Nazis. I'm gonna sort this out. I need to go deeper undercover. They gonna say I'm racist. Joining us now is Matt, certified DEI expert. Here's my certification. What's up with white people? <laughs> what are you doing to decenter your whiteness? Who's making it the center? Why are they doing that? And what you're doing is you're stretching out of your whiteness. This is more for you and less for you. Am I racist? Coming to Daily Wire Plus, October 28th.